I have a major sweet tooth and it is no difference when it comes to my fragrances. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my most edible gourmand fragrances. If you're interested and just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So like I said, this video is going to be all about my most edible gourmand fragrances. Now, what I do want to preface this video by saying is that people have totally different ideas of what gourmands are. To me, gourmand fragrances have edible notes in them. They don't necessarily smell completely edible. However, in this video, we're talking about edible gourmands. So I think there is a big difference between having a gourmand note, say for instance, something can have vanilla, but also have floral notes to it. And so therefore it smells like a fragrance, not like a food. <laughs> So I think with edible gourmands, it takes a special type of person who wants to actually smell like food. This video is for you. All of these fragrances smell like actual food. And I know those types of fragrances are not for everybody. And I'm not even going to lie. A lot of times they can go completely wrong. <laughs> but all of these I had to share with you, I happen to love. So if you have similar taste to me, hopefully at least one of them will appeal to you as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to start with the fragrance that unfortunately is discontinued. So we'll get that one out of the way first. You still may be able to find it on like the secondhand market um, if people are reselling it. However, when I have seen it being resold, it is extremely expensive. So I apologize, but I felt like I couldn't do this video without mentioning this fragrance. This is from Guerlain and this is Gourmand Coquine. So this fragrance to me smells like a raspberry chocolate truffle it smells so delicious it's i don't even know if raspberry is an actual note in this fragrance but that's honestly what it smells like to me and the chocolate in this smells very expensive a slight bit powdery but not so much so it smells like like dark chocolate that is drizzled in like raspberry sauce or like i said a raspberry truffle this smells so delicious and I think that the chocolate in this just smells really expensive. And that sets it apart from a lot of chocolate fragrances for me. Because a lot of chocolate fragrances can easily go left and smell like too child-like in my opinion. This one definitely does not smell child-like and it's even, dare I say, sexy. When I think about like really edible gourmand fragrances, I never really think of them as being sexy. They're more so for the wearer in my opinion, but this fragrance I actually think is sexy and I think a lot of men like to smell this on women. My husband is one of them, so just want to put that out there. If you have this, maybe wear it to bed one night. It's amazing. It's delicious. It smells like you are the snack. So yeah, that is Gourmand Coquine from Guerlain. The next fragrance that I have is another chocolate fragrance. This is from Hannah London and this is Strawberry Delight. Now I know I call this a chocolate scent, but the name is Strawberry, so that may be confusing to you guys. But honestly, this smells like a strawberry chocolate truffle. <laughs> Whereas Gourmand Coquine smells like raspberry chocolate, this one smells like strawberry chocolate. Or like chocolate with strawberry syrup. I don't know, it's very, very sweet. It's very literal as far as the gourmand qualities go. And I just, it just tastes like something you should eat. It, every time I smell it, it reminds me of like Valentine's Day candies. Those boxes of chocolates that you open up and you don't know what's inside. <laughs> this is one of those candies. This is the one with the strawberry filling inside. And it smells amazing and so delicious. However, it is very sweet and it's very powerful. So I can't wear this one a lot. However, when I do wear it, I do really enjoy it. I do save this one for cold weather because it is so intense. And yeah, if you're looking for something like that, check this one out. This is Panna London Strawberry Delight. Before I get to the next fragrance, I forgot to mention it earlier, but all of these fragrances are kind of for fall, winter. I do have a few edible gourmands that I think of for more spring, summer, but those will not be mentioned in this video. So the next fragrance is one that I pull out every single fall. I absolutely love it. And unfortunately, this one is discontinued as well. I just realized that I had another discontinued fragrance in this video. However, this one does come back year after year. I feel like it's came back like the past two years 
around this time of year so keep an eye out for it if you're interested but this is from Jo Malone this is called Ginger Biscuit now I never wear this during the hot weather but around November I always wear it because I don't know it just reminds me of Thanksgiving it smells like a gingerbread cookie yeah it's so good so the ginger in this smells like fresh but then it's also with that sweetness of like a cookie scent so honestly that a gingerbread cookie or a ginger snap or gingerbread house or something <laughs> that's what this smells like there have been so many times where i wore this and then I, somebody will walk by me and, and they say something like oh i smell cookies you know <laughs> and the cookie is me so this one is definitely an edible gourmand it's very it's very very well done and it honestly lasts pretty good for a joe malone i feel like i get probably about four to six hours out of this and i can actually smell it and other people smell it on me so keep an eye out for this like i said right now it's not available but it does come back usually around thanksgiving so i would just keep an eye out on the joe malone site if you're interested in it um, because a lot of times joe malone brings back these fragrances but then they're only available on their website so yeah that is ginger biscuit so the next fragrance i have is from maison margella this is part of the replica line and it is matcha meditation now i am not a matcha drinker but this makes me want to be it smells so delicious it smells like matcha tea with white chocolate and it smells so sweet and creamy and delicious i i love the smell of this it's very comforting and very cozy but it just smells like something i should be eating now there are some white floral notes in this fragrance but honestly they all kind of blend together with the more gourmand notes so even though florals are technically in this fragrance I still think of this as a very edible gourmand. I don't know if you guys have ever had like a lavender latte and it kind of smells a little bit floral. That's the kind of vibe I get from this. I mean, of course, lavender is not in here, but that's if you've ever smelled a lavender latte, then you'll probably get what I'm saying. Like it smells slightly floral, but it still smells like food. That's what I get from this. It is delicious. And this is actually a really interesting scent. So definitely check it out. Um, matcha meditation. Love it. Next up, I have a fragrance from Keith Perfumes. This is an indie fragrance house, and this is Cacao Noisette. So this, to me, smells like Nutella. Now, I know if you guys have been watching a lot of perfume videos, I know you probably hear Angel Muse smells like Nutella. And to me, that kind of does smell like Nutella, but with other stuff. This smells like straight Nutella. Chocolate, hazelnut, buttery, sweet goodness. It's a lot. Like, I don't think... I don't think I've ever worn this like outside of my house, but for sleeping, it's good. For hanging around the house, it's really good. But I feel like this is maybe a bit too chocolatey for me to actually wear it out and do stuff. I don't know. We'll see. But mostly I like to wear this around the house. It just smells very yummy and delicious and makes me feel like I'm drinking hot chocolate or eating Nutella when really I'm just drinking water. So... This is so, so good. So if you've never heard of Keith's Perfumes, like I said, they are an indie fragrance house. I will link their website down below. I'm not affiliated or anything. I purchased this with my own money, but their fragrances are not very expensive. And I feel like they're known for very literal gourmands. I know you guys have probably heard me talk about Ganache Parfums before, and they have very literal gourmands as well. However, I didn't want to include any of their fragrances because they're actually gone out of business. And so I just don't really feel the need to share them. I, I do still have some of theirs, but I decided not to include them. But if you come across any like on resale sites or anything, just know those fragrances are very gourmand as well. Um, yeah, so that's Kais Perfumes Cacao Noisette. The other fragrance that I have from Kais Perfumes is Dosser Brulee. And this smells like creme brulee. So it smells buttery and caramel and toasted. Like... The toasted note in this fragrance is so intense. Like this smells like straight out food, straight out caramel brulee. I don't like caramel brulee, but I do like the way it smells. And I do like getting like caramel brulee lattes from Starbucks during this time of year. <laughs> so that's honestly what it reminds me of more because I do enjoy those. But it, this is so good. It's kind of hard to explain the toasted smell of this but it just makes it feel very like warm and inviting. I love it. So yeah, that is Dosura Brulee from Kais Perfumes. 
The next fragrance I have, I think it's a little bit more wearable for some of you all. Uh, this is from Skylar Clean Beauty and it is called Vanilla Sky. Now this fragrance was sent to me, but they don't know I'm doing this video. I've already fulfilled my requirements for this fragrance. So just to let you guys know, um, but this to me is an edible gourmand, but it's very lightweight. So I think that if you are trying to ease into like food type scents, this will be one that you could try. This one smells to me like a vanilla cappuccino. So you definitely get that coffee or a latte type smell. Definitely something like a latte or cappuccino, not just straight coffee because it's very creamy and kind of milky. But then you also have the vanilla in there. You have some spice in there and it smells like a fall drink in my opinion, but it's done very lightly. So this is one that I feel like I can wear anywhere. So I can wear this to work. It's not gonna be too much, even though it is a more edible gourmand. I think this one is probably the easiest to wear out of all the fragrances that I'm mentioning here. So that is Vanilla Sky from Skylar Clean Beauty. The next fragrance I have is from the brand Fragrenza and this is Limon e Vaniglia. Now Fragrenza is known for making dupes or clone fragrances, but they also have some of their own fragrances. This one is actually supposed to be a dupe for Zerzhov Lira, which I have never smelled, so I do not know how close they are but this one smells absolutely amazing it smells like a lemon cookie <laughs> a lemon baked pastry it is beautiful it's sweet it also smells like there could be some caramel in this and i think that what makes this so special is the lemon is done very well so it is tart but also you have that sweetness in there to round it out and it doesn't smell like cleaning products. I feel like lemon can be a bit of a hard note in some fragrances because it can come off smelling like cleaner or dishwashing detergent. But the way that it's blended with the sweetness here and that cookie type smell is really beautiful. Um, I don't have Lyra, like I said, I've never smelled it. But initially when I got this, it's because I didn't want to spend the money on Lyra when I don't like the bottle. <laughs> But now they have those little small bottles of Lyra. So if I come across one of those and I'm in a buying mood, I probably will get Lyra because I like Zerzhoff now. And when I got this, I hadn't experienced any Zerzhoff fragrances. So um, we'll see if I ever get that in the future. But for now, this one is great. And I like wearing this to bed a lot. I definitely like wearing it during the fall, winter. Even out, I don't just wear this to bed, but during the fall winter i'll wear it out and about and it's long lasting it smells so delicious and yeah it's definitely a love for me so this is limon e vaniglia speaking of zerzhoff i have two here from the brand uh first one is italica and this to me is it's so edible i know why people don't like this because this does get mixed re mixed reviews and some people say they can't wear it but I know why. It's because it smells like straight food. It doesn't have that perfuming nature to it, but I happen to really, really love it. So this smells like, it reminds me of like an almond croissant, but with milk. It has this milky quality. It's almond, it's sweet. It has like toffee, I believe, or caramel, one of the two. Um, but to me, this is a very complex, but still edible gourmand. I think it's kind of amazing how they could make this so complex without making it smell perfumey, like at all. It's so good, it's so delicious to me. It smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. And I have a lot of almond fragrances, but this one definitely stands out. So if you are a almond lover and you like milky type fragrances, this is definitely one you should try to sample at least. I know it's expensive, um, but I honestly, don't regret a penny of it. <laughs> I love this. It smells so delicious to me. So delicious. So happy that I tried this. I blind bought this and it was a risk, but it was, it worked out for me this time. Anyway, this is Zerzhoff Italica. The other one that I have from Zerzhoff is Dolce Amalfi. And this one is based on the note of Kintz, which I've never smelled. It is a fruit, but to me, this smells like juicy fruit bubble gum. <laughs> And I know some of you all don't get that reference, but it is sweet, it's spicy. Um, it just smells very edible. Oh my gosh, it definitely has a gum-like note to it, but not necessarily like pink bubble gum. Hopefully that makes sense. The spiciness in this makes it really smell different than other bubble gummy type scents that I've smelled. And this is just gorgeous. I love the way this smells. 
definitely smells edible to me i mean is gum really edible i don't know that's a toss-up you chew it you don't really eat it but we're including it in this video okay because it smells like something i want to eat i really feel like Zerjoff does a great job with the gourmand fragrances i know i have at least one other very literal gourmand from Zerjoff that i love um, but it's more for spring summer so i didn't include it but anyway this one is Zerjoff dolce amalfi and then the last fragrance that i have is a vanilla fragrance and i know i could have put vanilla probably all throughout this video but some vanillas don't really smell edible they smell like vanilla but with other stuff like smoky and that type of thing so i really wanted to keep this to just very edible gourmand so i decided to only include one like purely vanilla scent and this is vanilla 28 from kaoli so to me this one smells very edible it smells like vanilla and brown sugar it's very sweet kind of syrupy it's a little bit spicy and slightly smoky, but it still smells like something you would eat for sure. I think it's because of the brown sugar. I think that's what makes this smell so delicious and yummy. It's gorgeous. I love this one. I do have a vanilla video coming up. <laughs> I've been planning it out for kind of a while, but it's kind of a big task because I have so many vanilla fragrances. So keep an eye out for that. You'll get a full rundown of like all my vanillas is coming y'all. But for the purpose of this video, Vanilla 28 is definitely my most edible vanilla fragrance and that's why I include it in this video. So those are my most edible gourmand fragrances. Let me know if you've tried any of the fragrances that I've mentioned. Do you want to try any of the ones that I've mentioned? What is your favorite edible gourmand? Do you even like edible gourmands? Let, let us know that too, because I know some people don't like them. Some people need their fragrances to smell more like perfume and not like food. And I totally understand that. Um, but I like I like them, obviously. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure you are subscribed and follow me over on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.